The Bible contains all the nutrients for a healthy soul. Joe Stoll writes, Grocery shopping with my wife Marty is like taking a seminar in nutrition. I'll often pick up a box of something that looks good, and she'll say, Look at the label. Are there trans fats? What's the calorie count? How about the cholesterol rating? Well, I have to confess that if she weren't the nutrition cop in my life, I would look like Shamu the whale. <laughs> well, more important than making good choices in the grocery store is thinking carefully about the food we digest for our souls. I love the verse in Jeremiah chapter 15, verse 16, that says, Your words were found, and I ate them. When we read God's Word, we have to be doing more than checking it off our to-do list. We have to read it to digest it. Slow, thoughtful absorption of the Word of God with quiet reflection on its implications is high in nutrition. His Word provides all the ingredients we need to thrive spiritually. A direct connection to the sustainer of our soul, brain food that makes us wise and discerning, a daily checkup revealing the condition of our hearts, preventive medicine keeping us from sin, a spiritual shower of peace, hope, and comfort. Eat God's Word. It's a spiritual feast. Psalm 19, verses 7 through 14, gives us the spiritual nutrition that we need. That's Psalm 19, and I'll read verses 7 through 14. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The statutes of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yea, than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them your servant is warned, and in keeping them there is great reward. Who can understand his errors? Cleanse me from secret faults. Keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless, and I shall be innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Father, we thank you that as we spend time in your word, that we are encouraged and built up spiritually. May we take the time today to look into your word, to read it, to meditate upon it, and to put it into practice. Thank you, Father, for it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. And as you think about today's meditation, remember, the Bible contains all the nutrients for a healthy soul. My name is Les Lamborn.